Hello everybody, in this new tutorial of .NET Core 3.1 Web API So today we'll see how to make um, GWT authentication tokens So let's continue in the project of the last time And let's navigate to the user control controller And here we need to add a login action uh, in this user's controller so the login action will take a login dto uh, object and will return i action result okay that will encapsulate the user information that we need to send it to um, the client application so let's call the users manager dot login um, method that will take the login DTU and that uh, method will return a user model object so after a login we will check if we have a user model it's different from null if this object is equal to null so we need to return a bad request and we can say it's a bad login or password so now we need to install a nuget package called system identity model .token .gwt provided by microsoft and now let's move to uh, the login um, method and we need to add the management of GWT token in order to generate the famous token validation token so here we need to create a new GWT um, security token handler so let's create a property called token handler and by the way we need a secret key in order to generate um, our uh, authentication token that's why we need to get it later from the app setting file I'll show you how to make that after that we need to encapsulate the information in this token uh, for example uh, the claim of user like email id um, role etc so we need to encapsulate all this information if we need it so in our case, we'll use uh, simply the email and we'll define the subject of this token descriptor. So it will equal to new claim identity and we inside we'll define the different claims. Um, so we need to define also uh, the expires time so which means um, our token is valid uh, for how many times how much times so um, that's why we we'll use uh, a no variable to represent the current time utc no and we'll add for example four minutes and finally here we need to choose the algorithm of um, hashing or crypting so we'll choose the sha 256 signature and we'll use eventually the secret key so in the user model here we need to define a new property called token in which uh, we'll uh, store the generated token and we'll send it, send it to the uh, client application so we don't need to store this token in the database because GWT um, package will um, manage the store of this uh, um, this token the memory we need another property here um, it will be the token expires that will allow us to know um, in the client application if we need to refresh or not the, the token 
so here this token expires will be a data time and every time we uh, run um, HTTP request on the web API we can check if the token is expired or not and if if it is so we need to refresh this token we'll see this in the next tutorial how to make the refresh token so now we need to um, use uh, the IPP settings um, dependency so that's why we need to define a new class called IPP settings and inside we'll define the property like secret key for example here type of string in order to serial deserialize um, the app sitting json file so now let's move to the app settings json file and we need to define the app sitting section in which we need to um, define also the secret key it will be a random um, string and you need to keep it confidential because any hackers if found this secret key can explode your database so that's great now let's define in private app settings it's like a service it will be read only um, property and in which this app is equal to the app settings dot value and now in the secret key here we need to add app settings dot secret key that's great and we need to define the token so the token it will be equal to the token handler dot create token and we uh, give it the descriptor token descriptor and finally here on um, the user control we need to add the attribute authorize in order to block all um, calls for this um, controller except the anonymous the anonymous um, actions so let's move to the startup uh, cs file and here we need to define the rules of a validation um, of GWT token like verification of the site web the the origin of calls etc so we need to define some uh, default authentication schema and default challenge schema it's equal to GWT bear default authentication schema and after that we need to add the rules like a required HTTPS metadata is equal to true for example um, save token which means we'll save this token in the memory and finally the token parameter like validate issuer signing key it's equal to true issuer signing key it's equal to the symmetric security key and in which we need to um, give it the secret key in order to compare the, the token and in order to compare and validate if the token is a valid token and it was it, um, it was generated by um, the same secret key no let's move to the postman and by default if you make a call we'll get a 41 and authorized error so that's why we need to call first the login um, action in which we give the email and the password and we need to change the operation to post and if I make a call so here we have 40 uh, 415 um, error so I think I forget to make from body here and on the other side we need to define the content type so here by default it's a text plane in the real in the real case we need to define to application json data and if we call and here we get it's great so let's work correctly and 
I think we have, I forgot to run the migration database. And if you don't need to modify, to modify the database so you need to add the attribute ignore for the database that which means um, not map it with the database it's only use it for um, the business rules of uh, transferring the data so in our case here we upgrade the database and run the operation and here we have we have a problem here because I forgot to add in the startup the app settings uh, service. That's great. Let's call the login. And here, that's cool. So here we are, all the information without the password. It's normal. We don't transfer the password that's why we have the token here so we have our famous token here and if we need to make get all users here by default we have 401 unauthorized um, error so in the startup we need to add authentication app dot authentication in order to um, in order to um, enable the using of the tokens so we call get users and we have done it thank you very much see you on the next tutorial